Good afternoon, this is your 28storms.com cyclone update for Tuesday the 3rd of January. All is clear near the top end of Australia, and the same can be said over much of the South Pacific, although we do have a lot more in the way of sporadic convection, but the upper level winds are not favorable for tropical cyclones. The weather conditions continue to clear up near southern India, where they are still recovering from tropical cyclone 4S, which resulted in 30 plus casualties, but again the weather is looking a lot better this time around. Even across the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea there are no organized areas of convection and you have to go all the way down into the southern Indian Ocean before you find any notable tropical activity. Of course we're still dealing with this tropical cyclone but this one is going to be moving well to the south and not impacting any land masses. Now if there is going to be any tropical development over the next five days it will more than likely occur over the Mozambique Channel but as you can see right now there's really not much going on other than some isolated convection and daily shower activity but as we go beyond the two to three day time frame as we go into the medium range that will be the most likely time for any type of tropical cyclone formation so we will be monitoring this area very closely as we head into the latter part of the week. As we turn to the latest vorticity analysis, there's really not much to be seen across the Mozambique Channel just yet, and the latest wind shear product confirms that upper level conditions are not yet favorable, with wind shear values exceeding 40 to 50 knots, and you can also see that rather clearly here. There's a very small sliver of favorable winds aloft, but this is just too narrow of a pocket for anything to occur in the near future. In the medium range, however, that is the time when the models are forecasting improving upper level conditions, and that is when any potential low pressure center will have the ability to take advantage of the favorable sea surface temperatures. We see on this graphic that they are well above 28 degrees Celsius between Madagascar and Mozambique. Meanwhile, the latest run from the Zero Z ECMWF shows little to no development over the next two to three days, but as we go into day four and day five, that is when an area of low pressure begins to develop along the coast of Mozambique and as we go into day 7 and day 8 that is when the system is forecast to become a minimal tropical cyclone before making landfall along the southern part of Madagascar. Now model agreement is a big key to accurate forecasting and as we turn to the latest run from the GFS sure enough it's also developing a tropical cyclone within the next four to five days and then as this continues into day 7 and day 8 sure enough it is showing a tropical cyclone landfall along the central and southern half of the nation. It should also be added that the latest run from the Canadian CMC model is also showing a developing tropical cyclone as we go into day six. So this model is a little bit slower with the forward motion of this area of low pressure, but at least all three models are showing tropical cyclone development within the next seven days. So the good news is that most of the tropics are quiet as of right now, but as we go deeper into the week, if the models are continuing to remain consistent with the possibility of tropical cyclone development, we will begin to take a closer look at that region and as of right now all interests down there are advised to keep up with the latest weather forecast from their respective agencies down there. So thanks again for viewing 28storms.com. Please check out 28storms.com cyclone for more videos in the future.